welcome to the video lecture series of operating system in today's session we are going to discuss the definition of operating system myself kunal pancha your instructor in this particular session we are going to discuss two concept one is the concept of operating system and the second one is the abstract view of an operating system or we can say conceptual view of an operating system okay so let us discuss the first topic what is the concept of operating system so uh, when we are talking about you know the concept of operating system or what we can say what is operating system so operating system is nothing but a one type of you know system software so there are two types of software one is system software and second one is application software so application software is designed to design specifically to achieve some specific task like for example vlc media player is nothing but the example of application software like needs for needs for uh, speed it is one type of you know game which is uh, designed Uh, for gaming purpose okay so these are the various example of you know application software like you know one more example uh, you can take you know like uh, uh, ms office is nothing but application software okay so uh, one is application software and second one is system software system software is designed to uh, specifically deal with you know system oriented services like uh, device manage manager we have Like you know, uh, compiler, assembler. These are the you know utility the programs. These are the you know uh, the system software, which can directly be associated with you know the computer hardware. Okay, so operating system itself uh, is a, is an operate uh, system software. Okay, so that things you need to keep in your mind. So with the help of operating system, we can directly contact. to the computer hardware so before going to discuss the definition of operating system let us discuss the concept and significance of operating system why operating system is required in computer system so can we use or can we access computer hardware without using operating system the answer is yes we can access the computer hardware without using operating system but that task is not efficient as well as it is not convenient means as you know very well computer can understand only binary language in the form of zeros and one so if you want to deal with you know the computer hardware directly you should have the knowledge of machine language to which you can code certain programs and with the help of that code you can directly contact to the computer hardware or you can say you can directly deal with your know, computer hardware but who can do this task those who have the idea or you can say knowledge of machine language programming those who can write your know, machine code we can access uh, the computer hardware directly if you are talking about any layman person or you can say end user with respect to computer system uh, end user cannot directly access computer hardware hardware because they don't know what is machine language and how we can write uh, certain programs in machine language even they don't know uh, which language is understandable by the computer system okay so we can access the computer hardware without operating system but only specialized user can do this activity so that is the one significance or case importance of operating system will uh, come into the picture so what is operating system so operating system acts as an intermediary between hardware and user you can see in this figure 
One is one computer system we have, and one user is there. So we, between user and hardware, computer hardware, we have one operating system. So it provides the operating system provides an interface between hardware and user, or we can say application program. Okay, so user cannot directly interact with the hardware. If you are talking about you know any end user or this is a general user, those who do not have any idea about you know machine language programming, yes, they can access the computer hardware by using operating system only. For example, uh, if you are talking about uh, the significance of operating system, if you want to understand very well, so I am giving you a real life example. Suppose if you have uh, uh, one car with you, okay, and uh, you are operating that car with the help of your steering. So, what steering uh, provides us? It provides nothing but your interface. It provides interface between the you and you know your uh, car, so that you can drive the car easily. One more, you know, there are uh, so many mechanisms we have in the car. Nowadays, like we have no one uh, air condition. Okay, so if you want to uh, use, you know, these uh, services which is provided by the, you know, or functionality which is provided by the air condition in the car, just you need to click on the switch. And the help of you that, so switch is nothing but interface which provides the uh, functionality to perform the computer hardware, to perform the hardware which is associated. That. Yes, uh, very simple example at your home. You should, suppose if you want to switch on your you know, fan, so what you are doing, you are simply uh, click on you know, uh, the switch through which you can easily control the fan. You can easily switch on or can say switch off the fan whenever you want. Yes, so what is switch? Switch is nothing but one type of an interface between you and you know, the fan. Yes, so uh, can we, and as I told you, without operating system, the computer hardware can be accessible, but only specialized user can use it. Same in the case of uh, this example, yeah, if you do not have a switch or this interface, can we operate your uh, defend or can you control defend? Yes, it is possible, but only specialized user. With that of your two wires, if you connect two wires in a proper way, you can easily uh, you know, operate uh, defend. But who can do this? Do these things, those who have the sufficient knowledge behind it. Means what those who are associated with electrical field, they can do it. But what about the you know, end user? What about you know any layman person? They cannot do it. Yes, so that's why the switch, the interface is required so that everybody can use it in a convenient as well as in a efficient way. Why steering is required? It provides conveniency you know, so that any, anybody can easily operate the car. So, uh, with that, so what is the task or this a main role of operating system? It provides conveniency as well as efficiency to the user. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, significance of operating system, uh, we can say. Okay, uh, now. Uh, operating system uh, plays an important role like resource manager means it manages system resources in an unbiased fashion both hardware and software means what, it, what this sentence tells us the operating system is responsible to manage the available computer hardware in an convenient and an efficient way Okay, so that is the main responsibility of operating system. Operating system is not uh, looking for increasing the resources or create the resources. Operating system is responsible to manage whatever the available resources we have. Okay, that resources in terms of you know, computer system, there are, uh, there are various resources we have like uh, CPU, memory, system bus, registers, IO devices. Okay, these are the different resources we have. So that resources needs to be utilized in an efficient way. That is the task of operating system. So that's why 
the operating system uh, can play as a resource manager in computer system. Yes, it will manage the resources. It will not create the resources. That things you put in your mind. Then it provides a platform. It provides operating system provides a platform on which other application programs are installed. Means uh, this uh, this sentence justification. I will tell you with the help of the common figure that we have in the later slide. But you need to keep in your mind. Operating system provides an interface between hardware and user. It acts as a resource manager. Why it acts as a resource, man resource manager? Because it is not looking for creating resources. It is looking for managing the resources. Okay. So that thing you have to keep in your mind. And it provides a platform. It provides a platform on which other application program. The application program you know very well. As I told you earlier, the VLC, suppose if you want to play a movie, so you need to install you know, one application program is nothing but VLC media player. So once you install successfully, you can easily play uh, the movie uh, anywhere you want. Yes? So uh, that application program will install on the operating system. So user cannot directly interact with the you know, uh, computer hardware. Then operating system is installed on, on it. So, uh, in, in the upcoming slide, I will tell you the, uh, the detailed description behind it. Okay. So, as I told you, you know, uh, the user can directly use the computer hardware. But if if it deals with it, suppose if you are if you are not talking about the operating system, if operating system is not installed and any any application program is not installed in the machine. And if that user wants to you know uh, access the computer hardware, so suppose if user if that user wants to you know play a movie, so uh, there is no operating system, there is no application program. So how that user can do this task? So uh, it is possible with that of you machine, as I told you, machine language programming. So user has to, uh, uh, have to write you know the machine code for individual task to perform. Let's say for example, uh, if you want to play a movie, so you have to write a code for it. Okay, simultaneously you have to take care about these things, you have to maintain the uh, temperature of the system, you need to maintain the brightness of the uh, display. Okay, for each and every activity, user has to you know, write a code. So that's why it is not, this is not a convenient way through which we can access the computer hardware. This is not an efficient way through which we can use the computer hardware. So that is the reason why operating system plays an important role to access a computer hardware in convenient as well as in efficient manner. So to understand these things more clear, we have you know, one uh, figure with us that is nothing but abstract view of an operating system or we can say conceptual view of an operating system. So you can see in this figure at Bottom side, we have you know one computer hardware at level zero. At base, we have you know computer hardware. Computer hardware, you know very well there are various uh, uh, components uh, we have in computer hardware. So that computer hardware, uh, on computer hardware, we have installed you know operating system. So at second level, uh, we have you know operating system. It's nothing but you know system software, as I told you. So we have on computer hardware. We have installed one operating system on it and on operating system now we are going to install the various application programs that we want to achieve our task. So uh, on the operating system we have installed you know, uh, the application programs like say for example database systems or you can say MS Office or tax editor if you want to use, okay if you want to uh, uh, play a movie so install you know, uh, as I told you, VLC media player. So that all the application programs will be installed on the operating system itself. Okay, and at the top side we have you no know, various users, user one to user, and means what whatever the number of uh, users we have, that users now we can see that you know users cannot directly contact the computer hardware. Same way application program 
itself not directly connected to the computer hardware. If user want to perform some specific task, that request needs to be forwarded to the operating system first, and then operating system will take decision to provide the hardware at that point of time. Yes. So there is uh, one hierarchy. So user with the help of your application program, it will send a request to a operating system, and operating system will manage all the uh, computer hardware. So suppose uh, if if one user is using you know, a CPU at a particular amount of time, and at the same time if another another user wants to access you know uh, a CPU, when we are dealing with unique processor machines, only one program can be executed on the CPU. Not more than that. So uh, when second user requesting to access the CPU, that user has to wait. And who will take this decision? Operating system itself. It will check whether this issue, when subsequent request is arrived, it will check whether this resource is uh, available right now or not. If it is not available, it will put it into a that request into a queue, and later on it will be executed. So everything will be managed. So controlling the hardware uh, to, to, to provide synchronization because as I told you, uh, there are uh, so many users that are trying to access the same resource at the same point of time. That is possible in the case of you know multitasking or case in multi-programming operating system. So who will manage these things? Means what all the users need to be satisfied in a proper way. So everything will be managed by the operating system. So, operating system provides interface between hardware and user. Operating system plays an important role as a resource manager. It will manage the resources in a convenient and efficient way. Also, it, pro it provides the platform through which user can uh, use its services through operating system. Okay. So, this is the a whole idea about you know the concept of operating system. So now uh, you can able to understand the, the final definition of the you know, operating system. So as you know very well, there are various operating systems available in the market like Windows operating system, Linux operating system, Mac uh, OS. Uh, these are the various uh, operating system available in the market. Okay. So an operating system is a program, it is a, we can say a system software or it is a type of program that acts as an intermediary between a user of a computer and the computer hardware. Yes, so this is the whole idea about the you know, operating system. I hope uh, it was clear to you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.